Hey guys, with uh, with Christmas just around the corner, I figured I'd give you guys just like a, basically a top top five tools uh, top five tools I use or have been using uh, that everyone should have. Basically, you know, there comes a point in your life where you you have a house or you live in a house and you need to fix stuff um, or, or or stuff like that. Stuff comes up basically. Um, so the top five tools I find myself using the most, I'm gonna go go through the list here to give you guys just a little bit of a uh, an idea of maybe what you're missing or, or things you haven't thought about. But these are tools that since I've gotten, I've used um, a lot basically, at least once a month, maybe once a week in some cases. Um, yeah, so at least once a week. Uh, the top, well, the top three, anyways. So the first thing, flashlights. Uh, flashlights are great. It's important to have flashlights. This is a Ryobi uh, flashlight kit, so you get your Ryobi um, standard, uh, just a little mini flashlight. The head can uh, toggle. Um, it's very important too to have these heads um, where you can position them to shine on what you're working on. So if I look at, uh, if I look at my um, this is one of my favorite flashlights here. This is just a Black & Decker, but because it has the head that swivels up like this, um, you can put it down, if you're working on the ceiling, you can you can angle it like that, so it becomes very, very useful uh, having that, the, the swivel head like this, whereas like a flashlight like this, you probably only use it if you're out, um, maybe you're out working in a field or uh, you're taking your dog it's too almost too bright to take your dog for a walk. This one, um, like it's like it's blindingly bright. Like that's super bright, but uh, it's pretty cool anyway. So uh, this is like the Ryobi kit. I think they raised the price on this one, but the Ryobi it also comes with uh, comes with this guy over here, which is some of you've seen. It's a hybrid light kit. Um, it can take a plug. I've got it set up for a plug right now, right? So. It's got three different brightnesses, and I've got it on super bright because I'm doing uh, I'm doing some filming. So flashlights, extremely important, extremely extremely important. Now, uh, number two for sure. So number two would probably encompass. Uh, here, I'll show you. Number two. So number two, a drill. Having a good drill, very important, as long, along with bits. Having bits, extremely, extremely important. Um, number two could arguably, arguably be this whole tool bag. So you have a ratchet, uh, ratchet screwdriver for basically, this can do computer stuff, computer cases, um, stuff of that nature. Basically all the fittings you need, the fittings will fit in either one. Um, drill bits, which I didn't put one back here, so it's probably sitting around the bag somewhere. Drill bits. And dry, I think it's for drywall. I use these for drywall anyway, these ones. Um, and it comes with all, some of these little socket sets. So all this stuff, uh, I use, this is my number two pick for uh, for favorite tool. Um, this is a Milwaukee brushless. I believe they have the Christmas, Christmas special on. If you're getting tools, um, buy brushless ones because you probably only have to buy one in your life. Whereas if you get non-brushless tools, um, they can wear out or burn out. This is brushless and it's very, very powerful. Um, I've used it almost for, uh, probably for things that should never be used for, um, but like like brushless tools, um, like here, here's a Milwaukee, here's a Milwaukee Fuel, um, I think it's half inch uh, impact, uh, impact gun. And this one can do like 300 pounds, this can put on like truck tires, so. Um, brushless is very very powerful um, and just having this drill here is is really really good but what you might want to do oops what you might want to do is you might want to go here's my Ryobi fifty dollar uh, uh, discount sale um, this is a hammer drill and this one will do uh, concrete and it will do like really really stubborn uh, like deep wood, um, stuff like that. So a hammer drill, you might want to fit the extra cost and get a Milwaukee or get a good good quality hammer drill. This one is not brushless. Ryobi does make uh, the OnePlus kit. They make a brushless one. Um, 
it's a bit heavier. Um, so it just depends, right? Uh, but personally, if you're going to get one, just get a good one. Get a hammer drill. Um, get a good, mil probably a good Milwaukee hammer drill or a good Ryobi One Plus hammer drill or whoever, whoever you, uh, whatever company you prefer or have batteries for. But just, I would go brushless. This is not brushless, but this is $50. So I don't really care, right? It was so cheap, it didn't even matter. Okay, so number two is a drill. Okay. So what do we think number three is? What do we think my number three favorite uh, tool is? Okay. Number three, vacuum. <laughs> This is probably almost almost higher than number two, but you can do more interesting stuff with number two, whereas number three, um, I guess everyone needs a vacuum. But this is just a shop vac. It's a, it's a Evercharge Ryobi uh, shop vac. Any shop vac will do. If, if, if it has a HEPA filter, that's great. I gotta clear this out. Um, I think this one can do drywall. You have to be careful though, because if you're doing drywall with certain vacuums, it'll it'll bind up really quick. So you got to be very careful. Make sure your filters are washable, um, stuff like that. So I use this a ton, and uh, I'm glad this is one of the best purchases I've ever bought. It was hundred dollars on uh, Home Depot, and it came with this extra battery. It was actually eighty dollars uh, Canadian, and then after tax, uh, it was like a hundred, but it came with an extra battery, so it gave me an extra battery for it. Um, and obviously my battery will work with my, you know, my glue gun, my, my, uh, you know, all, any of my Ryobi tools and my Ryobi flashlights and my Ryobi, uh, other thing over there. Um, so yes, amazing. This is the ever, uh, ever charge one. It's loud. It has a hair trigger. It is not brushless, but, um, it seems to get the job done. Uh, I was looking for something a certain size and Milwaukee didn't have Didn't really have what I was looking for and for vacuums and and the ones they did were kind of weird shaped and I just wanted something just that you know It comes with the the Evercharge system. You just put it near your workbench And you just and it's done every workbench should have one of those You know, I use it under my computer desk because so, stuff cakes up like you wouldn't believe down here You know, it's it's great Gets everything clean, and if you don't want to cart a big vacuum around, like I don't have many comp uh, plugs down here, so when I'm working, I like to use everything. Most of my stuff's battery powered because um, all my plugs are basically being taken up. So that's number three. Number four, uh, I think we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with uh, this guy here. So a com basically a way to fill your car tires. Or, you know, any sort of tires or, uh, you know, whatever, beach balls, volleyballs. You'll probably use this more than you realize. Um, in my family, we have two vehicles. And I use this probably, with just with two vehicles, I use this probably four, you know, five, five or six times a year. Um, I also use this for my business. Um, what you could also go is you could go, um, you could go a, a compressor. Um... But you need you need some way of filling your tires, some way of filling tires, some way of filling um, car tires, whatever. Whether it's like you got a snow, you got a, uh, a snow blower, you need the tires filled up. You got a, a cart, a wheelbarrow. You need to fill tires up. Tires being filled is extremely important. Sure, you can go, um, you know, go to the gas station, fill your tires up. This is a Milwaukee, um, basically inflator. Um, compact inflator this will work for about I don't know 10 10 minutes straight and then it gets really hot and you got to give it a break but you can realistically run it for about 15 minutes or so and if it's cold out um, it doesn't really matter that much you could go with a compressor though the compressor will give you the options of having um, like I have computers so maybe you can blow your computer fan you can blow your computers out with the compressor um, compressor does have a little bit, uh, some more options, but, um, compact is important for me. So this guy's not too expensive. I think it's like 80 bucks, you know, might be a good Christmas, uh, idea for a family member or something. And this is, this uses the M12 batteries, which I have here. So let's put them in and you get, it read as a digital readout. Seems pretty accurate. Um, really good. And it's kind of a little bit loud, but not too bad. It's not that bad. 
not too bad. Yeah, I can run. I can run it holding it that close to me, so it's not too bad. Okay, so there's top four. There's top four. Okay, so number five. What are we doing for number five? Uh, number five tool I probably use the most. Uh, for me, because I'm mechanically inclined, it would be my uh, it would be my half inch Milwaukee fuel. This is probably something you have to buy one of. Um, I do wheels and tires. Some of you guys may not do wheels and tires, um, so this might not be as useful. You may want to go with something. Um, like a circular saw or something I can cut wood. Um, but for me, it would be this. Uh, I don't do much woodworking, but I do do more mechanical stuff. So if you were gonna do more woodworking, maybe a jigsaw or a circular saw, or uh, I guess like even a grinder would work. You could you could, you could could cut wood with a grinder, something to cut wood. But I guess from here you go, there's two, two different options. You can go into more mechanically inclined, or you can go more into, uh, you know, uh, like, like wood cutting. Um, the wood cutting area, which which might be where some of you go, and then other uh, you know, others you might might do uh, more mechanical. Um, I use this one. Uh, well, I use it for my business or one of my businesses, which uh, I haven't been doing this year too much because I've been recovering uh, from my other job. So this this one I use a lot. Like I this one makes me a lot of money. I use this a lot. Uh, changing over wheels and tires will save you, you know, 50 bucks a pop in uh, Canadian dollars. I don't know how much it is in the States, but you can easily save 50 bucks uh, a year doing your wheels and tires. And this will speed it up significantly. Mind you, if you're, you still need a torque wrench and uh, especially if you're new, you'll need a torque wrench. I don't recommend putting wheels and tires on without a torque wrench. Uh, there is a process though that you have to go through. I have a video on it, which I mostly explain decently how to do it. Okay guys, so that's just my top, that's probably my top five tools that I use. Um, some other, some other neat mentions are, you know, there's a glue gun, if you're good at hobby, if you're good at like, uh, you know, hobbies and crafts and stuff, or you do computer stuff, or, um, you know, you need, you need to, to glue things together. Dremels are very good. I've got a, uh, I've used this one quite a bit. Um, Grinders are very extremely useful. I have a Milwaukee uh, fuel grinder, which I use for sharpening mower blades. Um, that that could be on the list too, almost. Um, yeah, and then you have the woodworking aspect, which I don't, I haven't gotten in, got into the woodworking aspect yet, but I might get some woodworking tools. Uh, I've got a couple of projects I want to do. I want to build an arcade, so um, there's some options as well. Anyway, guys, I'm going to keep it short. Just going to throw you guys some ideas. I don't want to waste too much of your time. And uh, hopefully that gives you some ideas of, uh, of basically where where you can go. Um, compressors might be a good one, too. This is a Sunjo. This is a Sunjo compressor. I think it's like 1.2, 1.6 liter, and it's battery powered. If you're going to get a compressor... Uh, the obviously 1.6 liter is on the smaller side uh you get two liter plus you'll probably be good for most things uh most you know except for running air tools uh yeah so that's that's it that's all i got i think and uh anyway so uh peace out uh i felt it's time to make another video and with christmas around the corner maybe this will give you guys some ideas of stuff family members might need or want. Most of these things are pretty affordable. The Milwaukee Fuel, this guy's a bit expensive. This is like two, almost 300 Canadian after tax. The flashlights are cheap. I bought these on sale. Sometimes you can find them on clear out. Um, you know, these are these are reasonably cheap. You can Sometimes you can find these at Home Depot on clear. These are all clear out models I found. Uh, the drills are, Okay, this is a $50. This this one goes on sale for like nothing, but this is not brushless um, But I mean for Christmas present, it's probably fine uh, This one is brushless works good uh, Everything here is affordable <laughs> nothing here is that crazy. The only crazy one is my uh, my brushlet my uh, half-inch impact gun Okay guys uh, just some ideas and in my tool bag, you know tape measure um, drill bits um, you know, just a torque, a torquey kind of a screw thing, wire, uh, some wire, uh, shear things, and 
Yeah, that's that's it. That's it. And I gotta keep these to my impact gun and stuff. I gotta keep it all together. I'm gonna lose it. Okay, guys, have a good one and uh, enjoy. Till next time.